What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the Corrosion Leech. What a terrible combination for the enemy. At the one hand, you leech the damage back to them, right? And then you add corrosion on them as well, which deals damage over time in form of cannons at 600 meters range. A really good setup, I think, on Springfield. And uh, this is post-commentary. I already played this two days ago. That's why my hands are free. But let's show you this, right? I wanted to show you this gameplay because I feel like it is really interesting to see these... Uh, corrosion weapons ignoring resistance a little bit, right? We can't fully ignore resistance um, Because most of the damage done by the corrosion weapons is actually still normal weapon damage and a small part of the damage is actually counted as um, Corrosion which ignores uh, Resistance, but this guy for example, I just killed with a corrosion I didn't even fire at him anymore and he died still from the corrosion and this guy is also still taking damage from one shot Unfortunately, he got me with a really, really bad timing here with my resistance uh, resistance ability down, unable to do the damage to him. Um, but at least we can leech, uh, leech back at him, so the damage that we're taking by all these three people right now is going on him. And he didn't even get the kill, so that's kind of justice right there <laughs> for catching me with a, such a bad timing. My ability down. So, walking in again, making the music a bit quieter, I think. And the game sound a bit louder. Alright, here we go. We're trying to get one of these kills, okay? There's two Auchons, they're fighting each other. One of them is ha having Quantum Radar, the other one doesn't. And uh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And when I think this is the right moment, I'm opening fire. And get this kill. And boom! I hit him once and the rest of the damage is done with a Corrosion. Uh, reducing him down to last stand level. Interesting. Nice, boom. Another kill. Another kill again. And by the way, guys, one thing I wanted to show you also is this here. If you haven't yet seen this video, guys, this is me with my latest hobby. And if you're interested to see some of that, me flying my paramotor, which it is called, paraglider with an engine on the back. Look how happy this guy is. Then check out the video in the upper right corner, guys, uh, and visit my new channel called Paramotor Money. I would love to have you guys subscribe there, too, if you are, in fact, interested in some of that content. All right, so upper right, there is where you find the direct link to the channel. Now, here we're having a bit of an issue here. Once again, my resistance is down. Uh, I mean, my, my ability is not ready. And I had taken a lot of damage there. That's the worst thing. When you play the Ares, and uh, sorry, the Leech, and you get caught with the um, with the ability not ready, that's that's really crazy. But that's the same with every, every robot. It's the same with any stealth robot, the same with the Ares and all that. When they don't have the ability ready... Okay, resistance activated, going forward in 500 meter range to add the leech to. And see, I added corrosion. See how fast he takes down? Look at this. Boom. My kill. <laughs> that was a combination, a little bit of leech back damage. And most of that damage was corrosion damage. I'm leeching at him here. And then I'm choosing whoever this guy is. Uh, to take him down real quick with these four scourges. I had to swap into the different robot just to get more points to restore this one. So now we have him back. And this is going to be interesting. Now we're going to fight a one-on-one -on -one versus another leech robot that has not normal weapons. Like, I don't know, Corona, Storm, whatever. And, uh, and we're going to use the corrosion weapons here, okay? So, bringing him down to last stand level. And then trying to get the kill. Ah, he brought up the shield. If I had been able to hit him once before the shield came up, then I would have had to be able ability to kill him with the corrosion, but he had the shield immediately. And my reload was uh, still ticking, I think, before. Okay, so, boom, boom, nice jump, by the way, with the Mercury. You just stole my kill with that kill, and uh, with that jump. And now we, lo uh, we, we kill the Mercury also with the corrosion, and here it is. Here's the combo. My cannons versus his shotguns. At 340 meters range, his, his, his shotguns are starting to become effective at this range. They're not perfectly effective, but they're becoming more effective as every step he takes. And my cannons obviously ignore the range here, but they don't have as much DPS. So, having a reload here, leeching at someone else, at this guy, with his uh, pursuer, adding some damage to him. He's leeching at me, I'm leeching at the other guy, and uh, my last st and last stand I had already released from him. And as soon as he comes out of this, finally I can take him down. Boom. The cannons have won uh, this fight, but it was also because the shotguns aren't yet fully effective. At, sh at ultra short range, 
I would have had a bigger problem right there. Okay, waiting for the Pursuer to lose his stealth ability. Come on, dude. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, another stealth. You gotta be joking me, man. He had the double stealth ability. No chance. No chance against him there. But you know what? Look how little health he only has now. And after spawning with 600 meters range, I can immediately resume firing and get him at right afterwards. Boom. Nice. And then this guy, adding corrosion and hoping to get the kill right after. Ah, didn't work. Hmm, okay. So here's another leech robot. Let's bring him down to last stand level. And then we're going to leech at him while he leeches his up. At us, we're leeching at each other right now, okay? I'm adding three shots of corrosion. You see how the corrosion takes him down much faster than he would take take damage from a regular weapon. And uh, and so this is the interesting com 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 part. Uh, the interesting part of these weapons is that you have the ability to uh, negate some of the resistance from the enemy, right? So we have the the, the stealth pursuer coming in again. Ugh. Oh no, he locked me with one hit. Okay. Can I lock him? Uh, no, he had anti-control. But I was still able to do a lot of damage to him. He's gonna stealth again. He's gonna have another stealth uh, stealth run and just... Here, there it is. See that? Another stealth. I needed to take him down below stealth while the other ability was still uh, earlier. Uh, okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Now he's down to last end. I'm leeching at him and that is the end. Woo! That was close, man. We almost died from this guy. So, 2.8 million damage done, or 2.7 million damage done here. Now I locked both enemies down, see that? I locked them both with the lockdown ammo. I'm running this with lockdown ammo, I feel like this is an interesting combo. So now that this guy's shield is gone, we can finish him off. Leech back at him to ignore uh, his, uh, his HP, or basically to kill him faster. But he, stop he stops firing at us. Oh, and he is taking damage, but I'm reloading, I'm reloading, I'm reloading, and boom! My kill, nice. And now we're going for the Ares. My last stand is just released. Oh, and now he locks me down and I'm dead. I wanted to lock him, I did lock him, and then I wanted to walk in safety um, to wait out his last stand and then have my ability ready again. But unfortunately, he also locked me down. Uh, by random chance, so yeah. Unfortunately, that did not work. My plan didn't didn't work. I'm leeching at the Spectre to the side. Okay, waiting for his drop of the uh, phase shift. Come on, fall down already. There you go. Now the Spectre is gonna stealth jump. Okay, we know he's got only 300 meters range with his Orkins. So I'm walking away, trying to stay slightly out of 300 meters. And eliminating him before he can do anything at me, to me. Oh, this guy's in range too. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. It's a, it's a strider and he's locked too. Let's see if maybe we can add enough damage to him. So that he loses his last stand. Yep, last stand is going down. And now he wants to escape. He doesn't want to get killed by me because I'm already first. So see he's dashing to the... To the backwards but I th thankfully I get one opportunity to shoot at him and that is just enough damage to him uh, for, for me to kill him what is this guy uh what is it an Ares I don't know what it was uh I'm not sure what it was right now I think it may have been an Ares no nope, it's stealth jump ah it's a Mercury okay I'm choosing the Mercury as a target for the leech back and somehow he gets the kill. Unbelievable. <laughs> he turns to the guy and he instantly gets the kill. That sucked. Okay, but now it's the time to die for him. And now we're fighting the Aochun at max range. Look at this. Look how far away we are and we can hit him so hard, man. Boom, 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 boom. And that's a problem. The leech, uh, the, 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 the phase shift even kills the corrosion that you have on the enemy robot. It even kills the corrosion, so you can get rid of corrosion as well with this. I I, I don't know, man. Uh, Pixonic, I think corrosion isn't interesting enough in the game, by the way. So maybe maybe corrosion should stick with the guy even through phase shift, 
And maybe the weapons should should do more damage on corrosion damage uh, based on corrosion damage than, than they are doing uh, based on re their regular damage. But look at the damage he's taking. That's a falcon right there. Do you see how he ticks down how quickly? Uh, we're in the middle of three enemies here. This guy might actually die from the corrosion. Yep, there it is. Now we're leeching at him. Bum, 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 bum. Adding massively much corrosion to him. And look how he ticks down now. That is all corrosion. That was very little damage done by the leeching. Most of that was with the corrosion that it goes right through the resistance of, of the, um, of the, um, what's it called? Falcon, yeah. And, yeah, in my opinion, the damage done by these corrosion weapons, more of that should be corrosion damage. So that you could more effectively use these things against resistance robots, right? Because right now, with this little bit of resistance damage only, there's hard, it's hard to find a good use for these things. But in theory, they are really interesting and could be good against a leech, could be good against Falcon or Fenrir, right? If they had more damage based on the corrosion itself. Yeah, so, anything going to happen here now? Let's go forward. Ah, I jump down and I get him here with a couple of shots. And then I go after him. Okay. Alright, here we go. Back in the battle against the Inquisitor. I think I just missed him somehow with a couple of my shots here. But now he's taking good damage. See that? Now he was taking really good damage from these leech, uh, from these corrosion hits. Oh no, are you gonna jump down there now and get yourself killed by the other guy? Wonderful. Now he just gets himself killed by the other guy. He, he gives him the kill. The kill that I worked for. Damn it. Alright. Boom. 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 Okay. I think most of these shots were no really hits. Not really good hits. Okay. Going up. Uh, I'm, I'm going not going forward. It took a while, but then we were starting to fight here on this part of the map And that was a very close call here close one The thing is I cannot leech at him. I can only le I can only uh, Use the resistance that I have but I can't really leech at him So his last stand is ticking my last stand is also ticking now and I'm waiting for and then he has the face shift Ah! I hate the face shift boom boom and boom, and we both die. Yep, he also died from the corrosion. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was nice. And here jumping into another battle on uh, one of my favorite maps, Valley. I love this, the looks on this map. Okay, he's gonna die now from the leech back. See that? I'm walking right into these Avengers knowing that all the damage he's doing, or mo a lot of that damage, is, uh, is my damage done to the uh, Mercury instead, so I get a free kill. And I'm having resistance at the same time. That was a very, very w interesting way, or very successful way to play this thing. Three shots. Look at this. That's weird, okay? First shot, perfect hit. Look, boom. First shot, perfect hit. So much damage. Second shot hits, much less damage. Third shot hits, much less damage. Somehow, the other two shots, even though this was only like three, four hundred meters range, the other shots didn't count. They didn't do the full damage somehow. I don't know. The weapon does not automatically hit perfectly accurate. Sometimes the, the weapon shoots uh, or misses. Oh, he did so much damage all of a sudden, man. I was trying to wait for it and then steal the kill at the end. Didn't work right there. But we can probably get him here, can we? Yep. He just activated the anti-shield ability from against some kind of Ares shield or so. But I guess he uh, misclicked. He thought he has phase shift or so. And he wanted to use phase shift and it turned out to be, <laughs> to be uh, anti-shield. Okay, these guys are fighting and this guy. Maybe we can get a kill. What do you think, guys? All right. Getting closer. And... Boom, my kill. Boom, my kill. <laughs> two shots, two kills. That's a good stat statistic. Look, he's not even shooting me right now. He Wait, that's not normal. Okay. He was having some crazy lag. Oh, there he let warps behind me. I'm going to not use the, sh the ability here. I can do this without. 
right. Now we're leeching at him, which is stupid, because now my last stand is ticking anyways. I should have waited with the leech ability. God -like. Running it later. Godlike. Godlike sunglasses. I don't have him with me. That's the best I can do. <laughs> oh, man. So, here he comes. I'm trying to lock him down, but it didn't work. Somehow he was lagging through my lock on. Did you see that? How he lagged right through? Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. It's a longer video, isn't it? 17 minutes. So, 172,500 HP on the, on the leech robot. It's a really good amount of health, considering this is like an Ares or so. It's like a super powerful assassin robot. Okay, he's using the shield now. Let's see, maybe we can steal, steal a kill. That would be all I want to do right now. Bum, 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 bum. Nope, that was not my kill, unfortunately. Okay. But is he coming? He just used the shield before, didn't he? Come on. Yep, there it is. I think I got him now in the open. Somehow the shots don't count. Huh. Okay. Somehow the shots didn't really count well. They were hitting the wall or whatever. Whatever. Okay. Now I want to get this guy down to last stand level. I need two precise shots with these cannons and, and then he will tick down to a last stand with a corrosion. I wonder if we're gonna see it happen today. Boom. 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 Nice, that's it. I think he's losing his, his last stand now. Is he? No, what? Okay, now it is. I needed to hit him one more time. And he wanted to make sure to use his shield at the last possible split second, but it's not gonna help here. Done. Boom. Corrosion on the leech. I, I really like to hear what you guys think about this setup. Do you find this an interesting setup or is this like something you wouldn't even consider? Tell me what you think, guys. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.